morning, Coach Satterfield. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, Coach, before we get to questions from the uh, members of the media, your thoughts on last week's game against Texas State? Well, obviously very pleased to come out with the win and uh, have to be 1-0 in our conference play. I thought uh, I thought Texas State going in was a much improved team, and, and, they, and they really proved it on, on the game. I thought they played extremely hard and, um, you know, made a lot of plays and, you know, came down to basically the last play of the game. So but we're pleased to go on the road, and it was a long trip, and, uh, you know, to get the win. And, uh, you know, now looking forward to this week, have hosting Wake Forest, uh, which will, you know, probably end up being the largest crowd that we've ever had here, and uh, we're excited about about getting getting Wake Forest here. So we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Scott. Our first questions come from Connor O'Neill with the Winston Salem Journal. Hey, Scott. How you doing? Um, doing great. I, I just wanted to ask um, what what you've seen so far in film review from from Wake Forest first three games, and kind of what's stood out about them so far. Well, really, just Three dominating performances, I think, really uh, in all phases. I think they're, they're a well coached football team, and Coach Clawson has uh, has done a great job there, uh, revitalizing the program and, and getting them turned back in the right direction. And you can kind of have seen it over the last few years. Defensively, they have been really, really, really good, and and now this year it looks like the offense is really has caught up with the defense, and they're so they're, they're they're really hitting it all cylinders and and particularly offense and defense. And uh, their guys play hard. They're coached well. Um, you know, all the things that, that you want in a, in a very good program. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Connor. Uh, our next questions will be from Les Johns with scouts.com. Hey, good afternoon, Coach. Um, the, the, the question I have on on this game is uh, it's been a really competitive series between Appalachian State and Wake Forest in the past. Um, how important was it to finally get Wake to come uh, to Boone? And then what's uh, what's the kind of the team's excitement level about the, getting this type of a matchup, this interstate matchup uh, there in Boone this week? Well, first of all, you know, we have we used to have a great series with, with Wake over the years and, and always very competitive and, and really fun games as far as a fan and a player uh, to be involved with. And, you know, so we're excited about getting the series back going again and he's particularly excited about getting him to come to Boone because we always, you know, went down to Winston-Salem. But, you know, it's two two really good programs that are an hour and a half apart and our fan bases, are, I think, really get excited about the, the matchup. And so but for us to host the game – for the first time, is um, it's going to be tremendous excitement for for our fan base and our our students and alumni to be able to come back and and watch uh, you know an ACC opponent on our home field. So we're we're pumped about that. Les, if you had a follow up question, you can go ahead with that. I appreciate it. Uh, just can can you talk? Through, uh, with me the the steps and kind of how this came about after all these years of the matchup not taking place. Do you, do you kind of know how this uh, this matchup kind of came to be at this point? No, I, I think our athletic director Doug Gillen has done a really good job uh, over since he's been here in the last couple of years of, of of getting games and getting you know the, the marquee games for us. You know we hosted Miami last year. Of course, Wake Forest coming in this year. We have North Carolina on the schedule in the future and. And, you know, it's just been a, a push since we've made the move up to FBS um, to try to get some of these games on the schedule and particularly trying to get them up here in Boone and, you know, to continue to elevate our program and to put more spotlight on the program nationally by bringing teams in here. And, you know, so our administration has been a, a key part of, of getting these games and, and particularly Doug and, um, you know, so working the deals out. I know it's always true because you work these deals out and, and a lot of times it's happening five, six, seven years ahead of time. So, for us, you know, over the last three years, you know, just being a newcomer on the FBS, um, you know, our guys have done a great job of, of getting these games uh, worked out. What we have. Thank you, Les. Our final questions come from Steve Bear with the Watauga Democrats. Steve, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Scott, just uh, when, when you played Miami, you got off to such a horrible start, and you really haven't had good starts the uh against Georgia and against Texas State. Uh would you just address the need to come out to get out to a good start, uh, particularly offensively, 
Uh, seems like it's taking you a little little while to get going. Yeah, you know, Savannah State, we, we came out really well the first half, about as good as you can do, you know, 45 points in the first half. So, so really, the other two games we didn't. And, um, you know, a lot of it had to do with the opponents we're playing. I thought they came out very well and, uh, you know, played hard early. We, we're going to have to come out strong early in this game. I mean, Wake Forest is, is a really good football team. I think their, their running game complemented with their passing game is, is really, uh, you know, bolstered their team because they're, they're able to put points on the board early. And so we we got to come out on, on you know right off the bat against against Wake Forest if we want to have a chance um, you know to play well in this game we you can't wait in the second half and there's no question about that so so that's been a point of emphasis um, you know yesterday when we got back um, you know getting ready for this game is is we got to come out ready to go and and not you know we we did we did sleeping in the first half of last week's game and uh, you can't do that against a good football team like Wake Forest. What is it about their defense that makes them so tough? They've been for the last couple of years. Yeah, they're really good. I, well, I, you know, I think they're coached well. They're, they're they're where they're supposed to be. They don't make very many mental mistakes. And I think that's half the battle on defense. And then on top of that, they're playing extremely hard. Uh, these guys really um, really play hard. And and then you look at their front four defensively. They got you know two red shirt juniors and two red shirt seniors, and then two seniors uh, at linebacker. So I mean they're very veteran group. They've played a lot of football and, and very successful defensive football. So, you know, they're, they're going to be very solid defensively. We have time for one more question uh, from Derek Asbury with the Post and Courier. Uh, Coach, what do you think you uh, learned about your uh, team this past weekend? Well, you know, I, I thought that we um, need to come out. Obviously, you need to come out a lot better than we did. It was a long trip. It was um, you know, when our guys were, were not very ready to play. And, uh, you know, we, we put the onus on us as coaches and to get them ready to play, and we we got to do better than that. But but I, what I did like about them is, is they continue to fight. And even when we turned the ball over on the one-yard line going in to score to capture the game, our, our defense, uh, you know, we give up some plays, but we gained them to the to the end of it. We made the play to win the game. So, and, and that's all that matters. you got to find ways to, to win, win the game and make the plays. And, and our guys um, have been able to do that over the last few years, uh, many, many times. And so, you know, we got to be able to continue to make the plays to win those games. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time this morning. This is all the time we have for questions for today. Thanks again. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it.